G'day and welcome back to another edition of Jez Beer Reviews. Today it's going to be a beer from Hawker. It's the Rover Henty Street Ale. Now this uh, Rover Henty Street Ale, of course, is brewed by Hawker. I uh, do have their XPA to try. And the XPA is going to be in the battle of the XPAs coming well very very soon. Anyway, the... Um, we're going to tell you about this beer. It's a 375ml can. And it's uh, ABV is 4.3%. Look at that. Right, so this beer um, I purchased from Dan Murphy's. I think I paid something like uh, around the $4 mark, a bit more. Now, for the style, all I could really find, people were calling it a session, a session ale. So, anyway, these. Uh, it's really a style, but anyway, I suppose extra parallel is not really a style, yeah. but they are a style. I don't know. Anyway, we're gonna call this a session. Now, is that many beers at now? Session. It's the new, the new buzzword of the craft world, or crafty, or the marketers. Right now, well, it smells pretty good. Appearance wise, well, it's um, definitely pretty hazy. Let's see the ingredients water, malt, hops, and yeast. Yes. So, yeah, it looks like a um, bit, bit like juice, just the appearance. One thing of um, slightly off white head. Yeah, it looks like that head will stick around actually. Uh, yeah, so, yeah. Looks all right. Um, the smell. Yeah, it's citrus aroma straight up. Um, yeah, sweet citrus. Right, oh, uh, the taste. Cheers. Not too bad. You're getting citrus. You get a nice little hit there of sweet malt. Now the malt flavour to me would be something you're getting a little bit of caramelised malt going on there. And then you're getting a bit of bit of bitterness at the back end. Lingers on the tongue a little bit and finishes somewhat dry. Yeah, Bitterness is more prominent the second time round. The body to the beer it was somewhat uh, in between the old light medium range. Mm. Somewhat does remind you of a session IPA, maybe not quite as bitter. Wish there was more information I could go on the beer before I'd done this review, but uh, yeah, maybe not as much business as a session IPA. Just um, surprised by. I hope it's not overly bitter, but just I'm a little bit surprised. First time trying this beer, I never had it before, so it is the first time. It's normally good if you get a six pack, you can kind of have it off camera and um, you can work out your opinion a bit better. And taste the beer as it warms up, too. Anyway, citrus. Uh, like I said, it's a bordering lime session IPA. That's what the flavour reminds me of there. You get like a bit of a nice like a caramelised malt flavour. Citrus, bitterness, yeah. So, I don't know. I really... <sighs> tasting it, it maybe a session IPA. <laughs> Could be wrong, but anyway, we'll... We'll just, uh, we'll just call it a solid B, as in 
we'll just call a session RPA. So that's what the bitterness somewhat. The more actually I drink it, the more that bitterness started, like I said, get more prominent. So yeah, we'll just go, just go B because if it's in that um, session IPA, whoa, that is a tough, a tough, uh, I suppose, division or beer style. Um, but that is a very popular and there's a lot of world-class beers there. Anyway, so yeah, try this beer. See what you reckon of it. Um, yeah, I don't know. Session IPA, highly drinkable. So. All right, till next time, all everyone. I'll uh, catch you all later.